Here you Thank go. You. Thank you very much. Hello, everybody. Thank you to be here. I'm very glad to, uh, uh, to talk about APIs today with you and to share our experience. Um, I'm Laure Jouffre. I'm in charge of the API program uh, for Orange. And uh, I will share with you uh, some good feeling we had at the beginning of, of the program and that, we, that our conviction today. The first one is about API is just not uh, IT, an, IT, an IT thing, it's just not for IT teams, it's also for business, it was just said uh, a few minutes ago. It's very important to bring uh, a business uh, on board. S second thing, um, the API as a product uh, approach, uh, which is used, uh, uh, for example, in the open innovation, uh, is very interesting even for uh, API, for uh, IT legacy APIs. And the third thing is about uh, people, skills, API management uh, need new skills, new jobs, and it's important to, uh, to notice this. So I'm going to talk about uh, API culture. To start with, I just want to share um, a secret sauce. Uh, we all look for customer value, and uh, customer value now is built on AI, on big data, on API, all um, more possible on the, with the cloud. It's like we have the convergence of the three, technology, the three technologies just right now. And on API, the, the question is, do you have a, uh, are you developing an API culture? And that's what I'm going to uh, share with you. So, just a word on Orange. Orange is a network operator. Uh, it, it, it wants to create new digital experiences for uh, uh, its customers. Um, it's a very big company with uh, 150,000 uh, uh, employees. And um, it works with a philosophy which is human inside. And it's important for our subject today. The, API program was launched in, two, uh, in 2013, so five years ago, at the end uh, of 2013. And today, uh, this year, we think we are at the momentum on the development of this API culture, and I will show you uh, what it's about. It, we're just uh, yeah, crossing the cast between the, the first early adopters uh, trying to yeah, to play with, API, with APIs, I mean, on the provider side and on the developer sites, and coming to the early majority uh, uh, teams. So, uh, at the beginning, we start with an objective of uh, doing APIs for open innovation, so for partners, startups, and um, we take the best practice uh, of the market, REST reason, uh, self-service APIs, Consider the developer as a user of your API. Um, a, a team was uh, set up uh, called the API Factory. It works in an, an agile mode. Um, we buy, we built a, a platform, try to make it run, and try to have some APIs because a platform without a, APIs it it has no sense. So that was the first time. Then, in 2015, uh, there were um, uh, API program in the IT teams, I mean in the business unit teams, in the legacy business, and um, the approach was more to, uh, to go towards the self-service, but when you have a legacy application, it's difficult. So the first step was uh, try to have some documentation, just to document uh, the, docu the document your API and share the documentation uh, with the others. Um, so at that time we had yeah, some governance and uh, first uh, documentations. But what was saying developers? Developers who want API self-service, very simple to use, very interesting to use. They, they say there is no API, just a few ones upon innovation, some documentation on uh, IT legacy. So I mean, what are you doing? Um, what was interesting was to um, listen to uh, the different resistance in the teams. Uh, uh, on the, for example, on the architect uh, um, side, um, you could say my business owner doesn't want uh, uh, 
uh, API self-service, sure. Uh, I have APIs, but I don't need an API platform, an API management platform, or API self-service that's something not secured, and I mean, so many uh, reasons, uh, sometimes good reasons, sometimes not good reasons. Uh, on the business owner side, uh, you had two, two uh, positions. One API, just see my tech lead. And on the, uh, another one is, yes, open API, that's interesting, but that's free, and I'm doing business, so I'm not going to work with you on uh, APIs. So, it was quite difficult to see uh, how to, to go uh, further. I mean, there was always new APIs on the platform, but it was not, I mean, uh, core business, it was not uh, uh, s s enough interesting APIs. So, we decided to focus on the internal APIs and mainly in the innovation team. Innovation team uh, uh, at Orange is uh, it's about 7,000 people, so it's a big entity. And say in this team, we should uh, first try to uh, convince them and, and see what, what are the problems. So we were explaining APIs, self-service, API management. Uh, we promote the, the first uh, existing APIs. We improve the platform because there were some uh, some uh, different things to do, and uh, we launch um, a new service which um, enabled the providers to self self uh, publish the APIs on the platform. Um, yeah, we engage the management. That's important because the the API strategy is the management. Uh, the technical management has to say what is the first. Which APIs do we want to put on the on the platform? Not to to put it in the platform, but what is what is relevant for which product for which APIs? So with patience and pragmatism, we still were working with uh, uh, the early adopters. And today, if we look at uh, this curve, uh, um, we have uh, at the end of November 750 APIs on the platform. I mean, the figures is not very import important, but what is in interesting is the curve. It has doubled in one year. So it shows that it is yeah, coming. I mean, I mean, people don't put APIs on the API management platform just because they want to play, they want to, I mean, they have their job, they have their priorities. So it's, there is really a need now. And the more API, the more uh, providers, uh, uh, the more teams uh, use the platform and understand the, the approach, um, the more you have. Uh, so our platform is called Orange Developer. Uh, it has three faces because we have uh, three different customers. Um, the first one at, at the bottom, it's for the provider teams, API providers team. So uh, the interface is called, uh, is a portal, is Orange Developer Admin. Uh, and we have two other ones for developers. Uh, on the right, on the left, uh, you have Orange Developer for external developers, for startups, partners, B2B uh, customers, and on the right side for internal developers. Um, so public and partner APIs on the left and private APIs on the right. Today, uh, so I show you the number of APIs, but if we look at the usage behind the APIs, I mean, it's increasing. I mean, that's the most important thing because it, it seems, it, it just says there's, yeah, they are used. <laughs> that's just the, 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 the first KPI. So just to show you uh, a few examples, on the external APIs on Orange Developer, we have, uh, for example, something uh, like a, a, an SMS API. I mean, it's uh, our core of business. We also have APIs on payment, for example, the direct carry billing. Uh, if you want to uh, buy a, a game on, a, on the Google Store, you can pay with Google, and we can, you can pay with your uh, Orange uh, bill. And another one is on the IoT, uh, Live Objects uh, API. It enables you to collect and store some uh, data from your connected objects. So different types, different business model, different uh, core business and more uh, new business uh, inside Orange. On the internal side, um, it's interesting to, to, 
to show the uh, the Plaza API. The Plaza is our uh, internal uh, network, a social network. It has uh, around 70,000 uh, um, uh, users, so it's quite quite used uh, uh, inside the group. And they have an API, and it's one of the uh, best used APIs uh, on the platform internally. And another one, uh, or some, it's it's a, a portfolio of few uh, APIs. Um, uh, on the customer care, they are used to uh, um, the customer care, the B2C customer care on their app, uh, called My Orange or Orange Moi in, in France. And these APIs are standardized uh, in the TMF forum. Maybe some of your companies are in this uh, forum and they're standardized. And then uh, um, we um, uh, we, we contribute to this standardization and then we implement them in the different countries, with the different countries, uh, in order to have some something similar. And to, uh, for example, uh, in the app, the app is uh, developed, uh, um, I mean, centrally in the innovation team, you can have the same uh, data, the same uh, uh, functionality on the APIs in uh, every uh, country. And this, is, this one is a lot of traffic, a lot of calls uh, on the platform. So, uh, I don't have to convince you that APIs is strategic. Uh, APIs are everywhere, but what I want to uh, insist on is that it's IT, uh, it's not IT stuff, it's a business stuff, it's innovation. And uh, for me, APIs um, is, like, um, <laughs> is like the glue between these teams. Uh, it's and behind uh, API there is a, a language, there is a common language to develop, and that is the way to succeed in having not only APIs exposed somewhere, but having APIs at uh, business, I mean for a business purpose and uh, used uh, for different uh, uh, partners, customers, or internally. So, to conclude, yeah, bring your business teams. In, in, uh, on board uh, in the API uh, approach. Secondly, uh, APIs as a product, uh, consider the developer as a user of your API, even if it's not the end user uh, of the service. Um, use developer portal, because developer portal, you can show the APIs and it's uh, you can share them, you can uh, develop the re reuse uh, reflex, which is not a very uh, common uh, inside Orange. Just use uh, something which has been done by another team. It's not so easy. Um, and you can also uh, show business owner or product owners uh, what is available. And third, third thing, API manager and new skills. In the team, we have uh, uh, API product um, manager, we have uh, API ops, we have uh, API evangelist, uh, a relation de um, advocate, uh, re developer advocate, and so many different roles, and it's a new way of working as well. So, develop your API culture now, now, to be ready for all this um, AI, big data, and all what you need to face uh, with, on your on your market. So I've just finished. Just to go further, uh, we are at, uh, available at the at the stand at the ground floor uh, with a lot of experts, a lot of demos. Uh, we have two other. Um, uh, meetings or workshop. Uh, one is today at 2 p.m. is to share of what we we've done with Seb uh, on the cooking uh, uh, recipe and how uh, Orange can uh, um, help uh, uh, the B2B customers to go on in this approach. Um, and on Wednesday we have a specific uh, um, talk on IoT and on developer challenge for us. Uh, so, um, Paolo Maliverno was take, talking about hackathon. We call them challenge because we did hackathon for uh, one or two months in order to have serious B2B uh, projects uh, in, uh, uh, yeah, to, 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 to make business with them. So that's it. Thank you very much.